Hey everybody and welcome to Leia's Lair. In today's video, we will be going over the Dark Saber and its importance to Mandalore. In Chapter 11 of The Mandalorian, Bo-Katan Kryze mentions that she wants to lead Mandalore, but to do so she would need the Dark Saber. So why exactly is the Dark Saber so important to Mandalore? To understand this, we first have to go over what exactly the Dark Saber is and its history. The Darksaber is an incredibly rare lightsaber with only one known to exist within the galaxy. This ancient experimental weapon was created by Tari Vizsla, the first Mandalorian ever to be inducted into the Jedi Order prior to 1032 BBY. A unique weapon, the blade was shorter than that of most lightsabers and it was shaped like a traditional sword. The craftsmanship that makes up the Darksaber is very Mandalorian, with an angular pummel, handguard, and slip-shaped blade emitter. The weapon emitted a sound that was higher pitched than other lightsabers, and it had a crystal that served as a channel for force energy. After Tari Vizsla's death, the weapon was kept in the Jedi Temple. It was stolen by members of House Vizsla in a conflict with the Jedi during the fall of the Old Republic. Descendants of House Vizsla used it to kill many Jedi and rule all of Mandalore for many years. It became a symbol of conflict and ultimately leadership among the clans of Mandalore. It was respected by the Mandalorians as a symbol for the leadership of House Vizsla and later Death Watch. According to Mandalorian custom, one could only obtain the Darksaber by defeating the previous owner in combat. Should they have claimed it in any other way, their claim was considered illegitimate. During the Clone Wars, the Dark Saber came into possession of Pre Vizsla, the disgraced governor of Concordia and the leader of the Death Watch. Following the discovery of the rogue Sith Lord Maul and his brother Savage Opress near their camp on Zanbar, Vizsla agreed to an alliance between the Death Watch and Maul's Shadow Collective. Together, Death Watch and the Shadow Collective successfully reclaimed Mandalore, and Vizsla betrayed Maul and Savage Opress. After their escape, Maul challenged Vizsla for leadership of Death Watch. Vizsla used the Darksaber against Maul. Despite putting up an impressive fight with the use of both the Darksaber and his armor's numerous weapons, Vizsla was disarmed, defeated, and summarily executed by Maul with the Darksaber. Maul then claimed the Darksaber and leadership of Death Watch. Having a non-Mandalorian wield the Darksaber did not sit well with certain Mandalorians, such as Bo-Katan Kryze. Maul then used the Darksaber to kill the Duchess of Mandalore, Satine Kryze. Maul maintained possession of the Darksaber for some time, using it in various duels against strong foes such as Darth Sidious, General Grievous, and Mace Windu. Eventually, Maul returned to Dathomir to help Mother Talzin regain her physical form. The Darksaber was still on Dathomir during the reign of the Galactic Empire, kept by Maul in the Night Sisters' lair. It was then found by Mandalorian Sabine Wren, who took it with her when she left the planet. Sabine was eventually convinced to use the weapon and trained with it so that she was worthy to wield it and unite her clan, Clan Wren, and convince them to join the rebellion against the Empire. Sabine first lost the Darksaber to Gar Saxon, but was able to rightfully reclaim it after she defeated him in a duel. His death resulted in a civil war between clans. During a mission to Mandalore, Sabine met Bo-Katan Kryze and offered her the saber, which Bo-Katan refused. After the two successfully completed a raid to destroy a superweapon, Sabine finally persuaded Bo-Katan to accept the weapon by showing her that the other clans were willing to follow her and stating that the Force had brought the saber to her so she could in turn pass it on to Bo-Katan. Bo-Katan accepted the sword in memory of her sister Satine and for the honor of her clan and Mandalore itself. She then used it to unite the clans of Mandalore and end the civil war. Bo-Katan subsequently lost the Darksaber to Moff Gideon during the Great Purge. In Chapter 11 of The Mandalorian, she's hell-bent on finding it again so that she can reclaim, unite, and lead Mandalore once more. And there you have it! Thanks for watching everyone! What do you think about the Darksaber? Let us know down below in the comment section. And remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more great videos to come. We hope to see you all again in Leia's Lair. You are not a Jedi yet.